So we're going to pull up patch 19.1, which brings the MP9 Pillar Security Car, new tactical gear, the blue chip detector, aka heartbeat sensor, folding shield, rank season 19, and more. So let's take a peek real quick. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get that in my face. Uh, as a reminder, this is on test server today, August 3rd, live server for PC, August 10th, live server for console, August 17th, August 17th. Uh, what's up, Dino? Welcome, welcome. Hello. Live server map changes. Erangel, Miramar, Tago, Sanhok, Haven. No. Oh, that's not NA. I was going to say, wait a minute. NA is supposed to have Destin. Why is Destin not in A? This is a, uh, Asia, SEA, uh, Japan, and Kakao. They don't have Destin? I'm so confused about that. In A and EU, most of the regions who are watching this video, we are going to have Erangel, Miramar, Tago, Haven, and Destin. Destin will be 40% of the potential maps, 15% evenly distributed between the other maps. Okay. Uh, li oh, there it goes. A live server will have a Destin featured map. Untouchable. I didn't, I didn't read far enough. Uh, ranked is Erangel, Miramar, Tego. Console is uh, same thing. Erangel, Miramar, Tego, Haven, Sanak. Okay, the fun stuff. Fun stuff. We have a new SMG, an MP9. Now this, uh, just to keep it really simple, is basically a jacked up Uzi. It's still a nine millimeter. It has a lot of the con same control and firing rate of the uh, P90 with lower damage. So it's gonna be a really, really, really cool up close and personal shredder. It can only accept a red dot in a holographic sight. It has a built-in suppressor and laser sight, but you can add a tactical Uzi stock just like you could when looting for Uzi gear. So this is gonna be really fun. We'll play it today or tonight rather. Come on, where's, where's my MP9 at? Oh, yay! I have found you did not the mp9 okay, oh what yeah type of ammo does it take it's a nine millimeter it's basically Ooh. an uzi on crack let's take a look Ooh. i like the uzi oh, i know you do Already. you are an uzi fan let's uh do a little spray and pray okay oh my heavens i couldn't even hear it from where i am thing it's no recoil oh my god this is going to dominate up close the next thing up is the pillar security car oh also the mp9 is only on destin unfortunately destin only uh the new pillar security car this is going to have 900 hp which is the most of any spawnable vehicle so it's a very strong vehicle uh it's going to have capacity for four people and it has a functional lights and siren for the uh, police mode. Now, what they don't say here is what's in the trunk. Or do they say it here? Oh, here we go. Look, high quality equipment can be found in the vehicle's trunk. So if you see a pillar security car <clears throat> nearby, hop in. This is, this is the police, pull over. Got you surrounded. Shit, we're surrounded. Woo! Got him. Tactical gear, blue chip detected. This is the heartbeat sensor. Uh, it scans every five seconds. Uh, if you're, <clears throat> if the enemy is moving, it won't track a live enemy. It'll just blink where that person was initially detected. And if they move from another location, you won't know until uh, you know the five second. Um, the five second ding is up. It goes up to a hundred meters, uh, which is a long distance. It's one of the small squares in PUBG, and it goes uh, for up to 12 enemies. So if you have 12 enemies nearby, it will detect all 12. Only the holder can hear the little beep, beep, the little noise that happens. I, I don't like that. I don't think I'm gonna like that, I should say, because I haven't used it, but I kind of feel like as a, as a countermeasure, the enemies should be able to hear someone holding the heartbeat sensor. Uh, that's just me, but we'll, we'll see how, we'll see how it happens, uh, in game, how it feels. Uh, then I have a little V if you can see here, a little V will be below 
or above the dot letting you know that that enemy is below your height or above your height and again this is a tactical gear so it will take out one primary weapon <clears throat> if you're on console uh you lt l2 to activate it uh pc's right click there's a big delay it's a huge delay nothing on ping yet nothing on ping yet yeah in that building guy inside the house over there yep Wait, there on you yellow on yellow the blue thing <clears throat> blue chip on yellow on yellow Yeah, two He's of them, the two of them. One's in, in that one and one's in blue. One's in left and one's in blue. I need a bullet. Oh my God. <laughs> Get your hands up. Yeah, upst upstairs. Upstairs in this building. This is the police. He's on the stairs. Oh, nice. Careful. <laughs> they wanted to get this freaking shotgun in there. <gasps> do, 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 Foldable shield. Now, this was, as I suspected, a single deploy, one and done. What I did not suspect is that it actually is destroyable. What's up, Shardad? Uh, this is 19.1, B. 19.1. Uh, the video that came out today, if you're watching this video, the video I posted yesterday was about all the skins and the feature leaks. This is the actual patch notes confirming everything that's coming for 19.1. So this deployable shield will have 1500 HP. For reference, the pillar security car has 900. So this is going to be a very strong item. It weighs 40 capacity, which is the same amount as four first A's. So it will take a lot of space out of your inventory but it is not a tactical gear which means you do not have to give up a primary weapon slot that's a good thing now there's apparently a visual indicator of how damaged the shield is so if it's 70 percent above it'll look clean if it's 30 or above it'll have maybe a couple bullet holes in it below 30 percent it'll look very worn and torn given the aggressors or the your people fighting that person uh, visual indication that hey it's almost destroyed keep shooting it let's get it done a couple quick notes again i haven't used it yet what's up mango is number one you cannot pick it back up which i think is a bad thing i think you should be able to pick it back up if it still has health um number two does the lynx amr shoot through it because that would be kind of cheeky uh but then i guess at the same time if this is a destin only item the lynx isn't even on that map Number three, it says uh, installation cannot uh, can be canceled, but if it's uh, interrupted, it, it says something about being interrupted. Hold on, let me see if they clarified that. Once the shield is installed, deleted from your inventory. Yeah, it says once the shield is installed, the item will be deleted from your inventory regardless of whether or not the item was su successfully installed. I don't know what that means. Like, do you lose it if it's like a it doesn't deploy properly or something? You know, I don't know. So we'll have to see what's going on with that. Uh, world spawns on every map. Oh shit. This is every map. That's actually really, really cool. So, okay. You can use it on Miramar and okay. You're going to have a Lynx AMR. We need to test if you can shoot through this thing with a Lynx AMR. Oh, spotted here. I'm deploying the shield. Deploy. I need backup. Shield's being deployed. Officer down. Officer down. Yep. I got eyes on him. He's on yellow. Take him out. Open fire. <laughs> Let him have it. <laughs> Yay. We did it. Oh, that thing crumbled. The O12 just destroyed this thing. We did it. We don't have any cool emails nice. in this test server. Huh? Hey, GG, buddy. Have a good night. All right, moving right along. Uh, Haven is the map that's getting a lot of uh, themed changes. 
for the Assassin's Creed crossover. So we're getting brand new Assassin's Creed skins, weapon charms, and a lot of cool little uh, visual updates to Haven. No actual gameplay changes though, okay? Sandhawk has a number of item spawn balances. I'm not gonna go over all these, I'll summarize. Uh, ARs and DMRs and snipers and LMGs, all the weapons you wanna get have been increased significantly. You're gonna have even more weapons to find on that map. And then the um, less used weapons have been decreased. So you'll find those less often, which is good. Attachments have been uh, cranked up. Equipment level one gear has been lowered. Level two has been increased. So all good things to make Sandhawk even more, you know, fast paced and in your face, which is kind of what that map uh, is all about. Uh, they improved bots a little bit, um, whatever. Remove them from the game. Season 19 has some new ranked rewards, nothing special. They got some emblems. They got the parachute. If you you know get gold and keep gold um, throughout the whole season, nothing special. The tutorial mode in the basic training has been improved for new players who are joining the tutorial. So you're going to have, uh, and they'll bounce it a little bit by giving you more vehicles. They're apparently going to mark vehicles on the map. The blue zone damage is going to be decreased slightly. So this is really just to help new players who are playing the AI training match, which is an offline mode where it's you versus 99 bots to give them a little bit better time to get acclimated with PUBG. So I think that's a very good thing. Uh, the O12, the fully automatic shotgun, slug shotgun, now will have a firing mode um, apparently in the settings. So you can, <clears throat> you can set it to what fire mode it, it applies automatically when you pick the gu gun up. Uh, the new lobby theme, I just showed you guys this. This is really, really cool. Cooler than what I thought it was gonna be. This is a customizable lobby theme where if you go uh, and customize it, this is what it could potentially look like. Whatever vehicle you select with your vehicle skin and your top six weapons that you select to display on your wall, and if you have teammates that join your lobby, they will see your customized lobby. That's a really, really cool feature. And uh, it's kind of a no brainer. So hoping to see that come for free with 19.1 and not be a paid thing. Uh, what's up, Native One? What's up, Rage King? Hey, guys, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're just finished up this YouTube recording for the patch notes, and then we'll get into some games, okay? Uh, what else? <clears throat> Did they say if it costs money? Hold on. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. No, they didn't. Okay. Uh, the workshop is getting apparently some new imprints and chests. However, this is a bug. Let me see if it's been fixed. If you remember when the workshop first came out and I did the review and the guide on how to use the workshop, which if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's a full guide on how the workshop works. The chests used to tell us what was going to be in them. Let's see if they, no, they didn't fix it yet. Okay. So from this screen, you used to be able to click each of these items and it would drop down and tell you all of the items that are potentially in that uh that section of loot that section of gear they had to take it out for some bug fixes apparently uh I was, this was confirmed by PUBG devs and the community managers that's being added back in so i've been having a lot of comments about hey what's in the chest is this item in there is this item in there uh the full list is coming back okay so just to give a given fyi Weapon mastery, they added the MP9, of course, the new gun. Uh, nothing there, nothing there. This is kind of interesting, uh, not interesting, neat. I'll say neat. The team emote can now be used with up to 10 players. And it doesn't Surprise, have to be, it doesn't, I'm talking. It doesn't have to be your teammates. Yo, native, thank you. Thank you very much for the two gifted subs to bougie and nasty Yo, thank you so much man i appreciate you being here and your gifted subs are hella appreciated what's up shoot hey buddy so if you have a team Surprise, emote motherfucker. i'm talking rage rude uh thank you for the sub man appreciate it welcome to the dome rage let's get some no flex included all right so if you do a team emote what i'm trying to say before i get cut off again is up to 10 players can join and apparently random people can join too. So like you can do the dance, even if you're not on that person's team and you don't even have that damn emote. That's just a fun, a cool little thing for the lobby or the custom matches and all that kind of shit. Okay. Oh yes. Fix the issue of receiving collision damage after getting off the airboat. Thank you, pub Jesus. I killed myself so many times for just simply getting off the airboat 
and it like threw my body into the airboat or in the water and i died a lot of times so that's a good fix uh the other stuff is kind of whatever here nor there um anything this is just bugs ui fixes uh texture glitches clipping issues okay so that's it chat that's it for our 19.1 patch notes review if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up share it with a buddy and get subscribed for more PUBG content if you watch this video and you're still thinking well shit see them what about the uh the tactical gear the new crafting bench for PUBG, and what about all the new progressive skins and the con contraband crates and all the new leaked skins and the assassin's creed skins i have a video that just came out today or yesterday when you see this video so go check it out Go to get over there and go watch that video. It'd be linked above or down below. Thank you all for watching. I'm trying to end the video. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Peace.